The announcement was made by Chief Secretary Sermana Supezurano yesterday in Port Mosby. The purpose of this constitutional amendment is for government to embed in the PNG Constitution a law to investigate and combat corruption. It will educate on what creates corruption and the dangers of corruption. In August this year, several regional consultation workshops took place in selected provincial towns in the country. It involved stakeholders in both government and community-based organizations who provided feedback on the weaknesses and strengths of having such an initiative in place. Participants during the ICAC workshop in Ley strongly suggested that ICAC be a body independent of government influence. Bulolo MP and Deputy Opposition Leader Sam Basil was part of the discussion. He objected to political influence. So when you may discuss, you may must make sure that Hanro, Prime Minister Hanro, Opposition Leader, you know, get touching this black appointment. It must be free, it must be clean. Sir Manasupe, in his media statement, said with regards to budgetary support and political influence that the Constitution states that the performance of the Commission's functions and powers will not be subject to the control of any person or authority. Therefore, financial expenditure of the Commission will be accounted through the Auditor General's Office, while all operations will be subject to administrative audits by an oversight committee. Questions were also raised as to whether the Commission will investigate and prosecute or carry out only one function. Sir Manasupe said that has yet to be established. The organic law will define the roles and responsibilities of the Commission. Salome Vincent, National MTV News.